What's up you guys, Indy here, and today's episode is all about how to stop when you're skating really fast. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Indy Jamma Jones. Welcome to Planet Roller Skate. And today's episode is going to be all about how to stop whenever you're skating really fast. Before we get going, if you have not subscribed, be sure to do that. Hit the bell, all those notifications, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Support Planet Roller Skate and more episodes just like this. Before you learn how to stop fast, you should be pretty comfortable skating forwards and you should be kind of comfortable at least rolling backwards. So you don't have to be like the most proficient backwards skater, but you should at least be able to do this. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. The most common ways to stop are the toe stop drag, The T stop. Oh, also the plow stop. The plow stop, the toe stop drag, and the T stop are all really great ways to stop, especially if you're a beginner. So I definitely recommend learning those first. And I have tutorials on how to stop on Planet Roller Skate. So if this is your first time and you're a beginner, be sure to watch those first. Uh, but sometimes, especially if you're going downhill, you're going too fast for a toe stop drag or a T-stop to really help that much. And even then, if you can T-stop, sometimes it takes a solid 10 seconds before you come to a complete stop just because you have too much speed, too much power, too much inertia. Is that the word? I don't know. The turnaround toe stop is definitely the fastest way to stop. And it looks like this. But even then, sometimes when you have too much speed, it's really tricky to do that turnaround. Like if you just do the step step to turn around, your feet get all tangled up. So my secret, my favorite way to stop is to actually jump 180 and then toe stop. And actually it may sound scary, but a jump 180 is something I teach beginners all the time and you'd be surprised at how not difficult it actually is. So first, let's just start with like little baby jumps. So all you have to do is make sure those knees stay bent. And the most important part is that whenever you go up, when you're coming back down and you hit the ground, be sure to absorb your landing and bend those knees again. I call it getting mushy. You know, just keep, keep this bounce, this mushy all the time. So I'm just gonna do some little hops and show you how I get low and how I practice absorbing the ground. And then we'll add the 180 and the toe stop. See how I'm getting low? You see this little bounce in my knee? So even if the idea of jumping at all sounds scary to you, this is actually something I do in my skating for beginners class. So I will take a person that has just put on skates for the first time, and if their balance is good and they have the stability while skating, then I will teach them how to jump on their first day. So, you know, this isn't a super advanced move. If you believe that you could do it, you probably can. All right, so now we're gonna add the 180. So the secret for me is that I actually keep looking the same direction. Like my face and the top of my chest does not move at all. The only thing that moves is my hips. Depending on which foot you prefer to have in front for me, I skate with my left foot in front when I'm going forwards. And then when I turn backwards, I still have my left foot as my lead foot when I go backwards. So when I'm going backwards, I wanna make sure if my hips are facing this way, that I'm not trying to twist around to look backwards. So if my hips face this way, I just wanna turn and look this way. And then if I leave my other foot and my hips are facing this way, then I turn and look that way. So I'm editing the episode right now and I feel like I didn't do a great job of explaining which foot leads when you're going which direction. So I'm gonna try that again real fast. All right, so the first thing you need to do is decide which foot you like to lead while you're skating backwards. So if I'm skating this way, do I like to lead with my left foot or do I like to lead with my right foot? And that's if we're going this way. 
Once you figure out which foot you prefer to lead with, then you know which foot to put in front before you do your hip swivel. So in this episode, I've been referring to it as a jump 180, but that's not really an accurate description because it's not even like a full 180 degree turn. It's literally just like a little hop and a hip swivel. So I like to lead with my left foot. So if I'm skating backwards, that means whatever I'm skating forwards, my left foot's gonna be in front. And then all I have to do is swivel, swivel, swivel. Then if I am, if I like to lead with my right foot while I'm skating backwards, that means that I put my right foot in front while I'm skating forwards right before I do my hip swivel. So I'm skating, I'll put my right foot out and then I just go swivel, 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 swivel. It's really good to practice this on the ground without any skates on like I'm doing right now so that you can get used to which direction your head looks and which arms you like to have where. So for me, I like to lead with my left foot while I'm skating backwards, which means my hips are open to the left and I'm looking over my left shoulder. Um, I also like to put my left arm behind and my right arm in front just to kind of keep a little bit of that balance. Um, and then it's the opposite if you would like to lead with your right leg like this, right leg. Then I will have my hips open to the right. I'm looking over my right shoulder and I have my right arm leading this way. Or. So if you would like to lead with your left leg when you're skating backwards, even if your left leg isn't dominant when you're skating forwards, that's okay. All you gotta do is switch to get that left leg in front right before you do the hip swivel. Same thing with the right. If you like to lead skating backwards with your right foot, that's okay. If your right foot isn't dominant while you're skating forwards, all you have to do is get that right foot in front right before you do the little hip swivel, jump 180 thing, and yeah. So I know this is a bit confusing, but if it helps at all, maybe you should just do both ways. Like it's really, really great and helpful to be ambidextrous and to learn things and not even have a dominant side. Like if you could become a skater that is ambidextrous, that you could do things all the ways, like that's really cool. So the important thing also to think about when I'm doing this is that I keep those legs bent. And when I turn backwards, I want to make sure I keep my shoulders forward and my hips dropped. I don't want to start leaning back or straighten my legs out because that's going to make me tumble that way. So I recommend first practicing on flat ground, completely flat ground without any roll at all. And you might even want to practice on the carpet or the grass. So actually I'm going to go practice in the grass real fast and then we will bring it back to the concrete and then we will actually do it with a little bit more speed. Once you have that 180 down, it's pretty simple to add in the toe stop. You could either do it with one foot or you could do it with both feet. Here's what it looks like. So you do your jump 180, here's two feet, jump 180, and one foot. When you go to do the toe stop, the most important thing to think about is that you keep that stagger in your feet. If you put your feet side by side, it's totally possible to stop like that but you're more likely to tilt like this so it's actually pretty stylish but you will get much more stability when you get the stagger and then put pressure so again practice on flat ground and then maybe at a slope or add some speed so I'm gonna do my hop stagger deep lunge toe stop down the deeper your lunge the more stable your stop will be one more with the two feet, ready, hop, turn, and stop, two feet. And then I'm gonna show for if you lead with your right leg. So if you lead with your right leg and you do the 180 hop. Now we're gonna add some speed, so I'm gonna go down this slope. Before you try this though, I recommend wearing knee pads just in case you get way too much speed. So my go-to emergency stop 
if I'm like going downhill completely out of control and I have to save my life, then I always have my knee pads on so that I can just take a knee. Especially if you have the hard cap on your knee pads, all you gotta do is drop it down, knee on the ground. You know, this is like a last resort kind of thing. You don't wanna make it a habit, but I've seen lots of situations where it has literally saved people's lives when they're just going straight down a hill. Like say, like for example, if you get going too fast down a hill and you, you aren't carving anymore, and you're just whoom, straight down, I recommend taking a knee. But if you feel confident doing this, this is definitely the best way to stop in those situations um, to make sure you don't get road rash. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna add some speed and then I'm gonna come skating up and stop right for this camera so you can see what it looks like. Yeah. All right, this will wear out your toe stops, especially if you do it going downhill a lot, but that's what your toe stops are for because you don't wanna wear out your wheels doing a T-stop or something like that. So, you know, toe stops are easy to replace. Yeah, that's what they're for. But you can see this one's already getting a bit worn down. If you want to learn how to plow stop and do the toe stop drag and the T stop, I will link that video below. I'm also going to link the video that we did about how to turn around toe stop. And then that combined with this, um, how to stop really fast, should pretty much, you know, encompass all of your, you know, go-to stops. Oh, that, and of course the emergency stop, which is taking a knee. Um, so I hope that wasn't too confusing with the shoulders and stuff. That's kind of the best way I can think to explain it. You know, maybe I'll think of some fun rhyme or something to make it a bit easier to understand. I don't know, Josh, do you think they'll get it? Yeah, it's pretty self, I got it. Okay. I'm not very smart. Oh, you know what? Why don't you? Oh, you don't have toe stops, darn it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I can take a knee, but I also don't have knee pads. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I gotta get my cameraman better equipped next time. Well, I hope that makes sense. Um, this is definitely my go-to toe stop, especially when I'm hill bombing, especially when I'm skating in the city streets or in crowded places. You know, if I am going through traffic, I gotta stop fast. It's just, just a great one to have in your tool set, bag of tools, skating repertoire in your goodie bag of tricks, in your basic skill set, you know, have this one on deck. It's a lifesaver. It's a great one. That's all I got for y'all. All right, let's go skate around Galveston. We're in Galveston. It's a beautiful day. This week has been crazy in Texas. We had like the craziest Arctic freeze polar vortex storm. And now this is, this is today. It's beautiful outside. So we are going to go skate around. I'm gonna show you the turnaround toe stop in action and you will get to see a little bit of beautiful Galveston Island. 